guys what's going on james here and in today's video we're talking about yet another tampa bay buccaneers future with this team and in today's video we're talking about right tackle demar dodson so let's get started now, when talking about Dodson, it's not necessarily a situation of whether he will or will not re-sign with the team. He's actually still under contract until the end of the 2019-2020 season. No, the biggest question mark surrounding DeMar Dodson right now is whether or not he is going to retire or stay on the team. Right now, DeMar Dodson is currently 32 years old. He is the longest tenured Buccaneer on this team. He's been on this team since I believe either 2008 or 2009. He's been on this team longer than Gerald McCoy and DeMar Dotson has seen a whole heck of a lot of not just roster changes but overall staff changes as well. He's been here a long time. He's a very well respected player in the locker room by the coaching staff. I'm sure by the Glaciers as well. This guy's been here a long time but he's getting up there in age and a lot of Bucks fans have been clamoring if not blatantly asking for DeMar, for DeMar Dotson and to retire. The reason a lot of Bucks fans have been clamoring for this is pretty simple to see. Uh, this past season, DeMar Dodson did not have the best year. He had a lot of penalties that didn't end up going his way. He was dealing with a lot of nagging injuries that he has been dealing with throughout the entirety of his career, all things considered. And just overall, you could see he took a real step back and you could see that age is really starting to show and his play fell off in a major way. Uh, seasons before this recent season, he was actually one of the higher rated tackles in the entire Entire NFL for a couple of seasons in a row and then finally this year he really started to show that he's been losing a step and really just start to lose his overall play altogether. Yes, while I can see that there is, you know, a lot of people who are clamoring for DeMar Dodson to retire and, you know, possibly go away and we can get somebody brand new in there, right tackle, I don't necessarily think it is the best idea, simply because the Buccaneers have a lot of problems on the offensive line on their plate already. Left tackle is still an entirely huge huge mystery with Donovan Smith and how much money are you going to pay him and if you aren't going to pay him what are you going to do to replace him and then you also have a big question mark at the right guard position as well involving guys like Caleb Beninock and Alex Kappa that pretty much position is a big giant black hole right now especially considering we don't know what the Buccaneers have in Alex Kappa so in my opinion you should probably keep as many experienced serviceable starting linemen that you can and right now the Buccaneers have three in Ali Marpet, Ryan Jensen, and DeMar Dodson. And I know while his play did fall off a, a, to a certain degree in this most recent season, you can shock a lot of it up to poor play with the right guard position and whatever revolving door that was. That certainly doesn't help that entire side of the ball. And it could have attributed to a lot of the problems that Ryan Jensen and DeMar Dodson were both facing this past season. And you can also attribute it to the nagging injuries that he's had throughout the entirety of his career. Because when he is fully healthy, DeMar Dodson has looked like a very, very good offensive tackle. You still have him under contract for next season at a relatively decent cost, so I don't think anything needs to be done in terms of trading or cutting DeMar Dodson should he decide to stay uh, for this upcoming season. I, don't, I think if he does decide to not retire, I think you should keep him pretty, pretty much 100% of the time. The big problem that comes here with DeMar Dodson is that if he does retire, the Buccaneers are going to have a lot of headaches involving their offensive line and ways to fix it in this upcoming offseason. Because, like I said earlier, if DeMar Dodson were to retire, your only two reliable starting offensive linemen, period, who aren't going to have either a contract dispute or a retirement or just a black hole void are going to be Ali Marpet and Ryan Jensen. That means you are going to have some huge huge question marks at three out of the five offensive line positions and you're going to need to address all three of those positions be it both tackle spots and the right guard spot and that is not an ideal situation for Bruce Arians and his coaching staff coming into their first year with the team. Now a lot of people have been suggesting many different types of ways to fix the right tackle position should DeMar Dodson retire and in even some fans instances if DeMar Dodson decides to not retire just a 
way to replace him. The first option is this. Move Donovan Smith from left tackle to right tackle and draft Jonah Williams and put him in at left tackle. And well, I do like that option a lot. I love me some Jonah Williams. I think that that is a wonderful pick in my opinion. It's either him or Ed Oliver right now for me. I don't know if it's a very guaranteed thing because if you don't get Jonah Williams at pick number five, let's say he goes before pick number five, then that plan all falls apart. You also have to take into consideration that Donovan Smith has played his entire career at left tackle, and if you sign Donovan Smith to a top left tackle type of contract, you're going to want to keep him at left tackle. So I kind of like the second option, which is sign Donovan Smith to the contract that he's at, top left tackle money. You keep him at left tackle, you have Ali Marpet, Ryan Jensen, and then you draft Jonah Williams at the right tackle position and keep him there. I do like that move a little bit more rather than moving Donovan Smith to the other side of the uh, offensive line simply because if you're paying Donovan Smith top left tackle money, he's going to be a top, he's going to be a starting left tackle on this team. Now again, you still have to run that risk of if Jonah Williams isn't there at the top five pick, what are you going to do? There are still some pretty decent decent right tackles and just overall offensive linemen in this draft. So I think you could make the situation work if DeMar Dodson were to retire, but ultimately I think that it would be really bad if DeMar Dodson would retire because you would have to have a lot of question marks and you have to answer a lot of questions involving this offensive line. So I think that DeMar Dodson uh, should stay on this team if he doesn't retire. And if he does retire, well, that's not going to be a good situation under any circumstances. But guys, let me know what you think about this entire situation down in the comment section below. What do you think about DeMar Dodson, and why do you think his play was so bad this past season? And if DeMar Dodson does retire, how do you think the Buccaneers should address this problem? Do you think that they should move Donovan Smith to the right tackle position? Do you think that they should draft Jonah Williams and move him into the right tackle position? Or do you feel that another tackle would be, or just another offensive lineman would be more suited at the right tackle position as well? In terms of the free agency class, again, there's no one. I'm I'm not going to mention anybody from there because quite frankly there's not a lot of good starting options out there but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed and as always i'll see you in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always goodbye for now and go bucks